So this is my gaming setup. In my opinion, it looks really nice. I mean, you got the RGB everywhere, two monitors, ring light for face cam, you know, nice pair of earphones, nice custom keyboard, two mice, uh, don't ask why. You know, you, you got the nice computer, but there's something holding it back in comfortability and aesthetics. It's this chair, man. Like, look, first of all, it has a pillow on it. Second of all, it's ugly. And, and third of all, it's it's uncomfortable. So today we're gonna be upgrading it. So this is the chair I'm gonna be upgrading to. It is from a brand called Odin Lake and they did send it out to me for a review, but uh, I don't really care if I got it for free or not. I'll tell you if it's uncomfortable, but let's unbox it first. Okay, we just got it all unboxed. And first of all, I said my, my this chair, my Walmart chair, waste of $80, was super uncomfortable. And here's the cushion for this one. And let me tell you, it's probably the one of the heaviest parts of this whole chair. So that means it should be comfortable. Let's do a sit test. Oh yeah. Thing got a lot of cushion to it, honestly. I, I think the kitty likes it too, maybe. Or he's probably just gonna scratch it up. Hopefully he doesn't. I swear if he does, I'm coming after your cat tree, yo. I will come after your cat tree. Where you going? Huh? Where you think you're going? Say hi, Arrow. Yeah, yeah, speak up. Anyways, let's build this chair. Here's the instruction manual. Assembly seems easy enough. There's only six steps and then uh, it's completed. So let's uh, put you guys on a little time lapse, set a timer and see how long it takes me to build this thing. So far, so good, as some people would say, but for me, it is not going good at all. I can't get this last caster wheel in, as you can see from the time lapse. I even brought out a damn hammer, and uh, it's still not going into the base. I'm, I'm not sure why. I don't know what's wrong with this wheel, but so far, not a good experience with this chair. Well, finally got all the casters in. And I must say, the plastic they use to build these things, it is high quality. I mean, they can sure take a beating from a hammer. I was hitting the hell out of it, and it finally went into place it took a lot of force um yeah bad start to this chair anyways uh let's continue i guess i was super excited to build this new chair today and as i'm going along building it my excitement keep my excitement keeps on going lower and lower this chair was supposed to be easy to assemble and uh, so far, we are about 30 minutes in. And as you can see, I'm sitting on the damn floor. I'm not even sitting on the chair. Their instruction manual is all backwards. It's, I'm following their instructions and nothing's happening. I mean, maybe I'm just stupid, which that could be a possibility, but nah, nah, nah. This is, yeah, whatever. Okay, the chair is done. Just under 40 minutes, about 36 minutes. Uh, do a first sit test. Okay, feels pretty comfortable. Yo, Arrow, I'm trying to record over here. Stop your meowing. And as you guys can see, it does have a little footrest here. We can lock the chair. Well, that this locks it. Okay, so now the chair is locked and I'm fully relaxed. Has a nice little headrest here. It can go up. Well, down and up, and it has like a little tilt to it. Matches your head perfectly. Armrest can go up and down pretty easily, and forward and backwards a little bit, and they have a little bit of a swivel to them. So first, let's go over the cons of this chair, and then I'll come back to you guys in about two weeks after I've sat in the chair for a little bit, and I'll tell you the pros. So first, the cons. Like I was saying, it is not easy to assemble at all like it was advertising, unless I'm just stupid or I got a faulty chair. But yeah, assembly, not as easy as it seems. Like I said, it took me around 40 minutes to build the chair, and most of that time was just putting in the caster wheels. And uh, 
yeah, it should not just, it shouldn't be that hard to put in caster wheels. I got all of the other ones in, but that last one was giving me trouble. Second con I would say is the caster wheels. My $80 Walmart chair, my girlfriend's chair that we got at a thrift store for $5. They all have plastic casters as well as this one. And this chair is almost $500. So why do they still have plastic casters? They definitely cheaped out on those. They could have been better quality in my opinion. But yeah, other than that, I mean, the chair is pretty cool. It has really good lumbar support you can recline and just relax i don't know it has a foot rest has a head rest it has a breathable mesh back what more can you want out with the old in with the new that looks so much better in my setup in my opinion it it just really ties it together like i said it was missing comfortability and aesthetics and this helps with both anyways i'll see you guys in two weeks and uh do my final thoughts on this chair okay it's been a little over two weeks now Let's start off with some more cons. The headset, it's, it's like hit or miss. It's really meh. It's quite wobbly and sometimes it feels like it's just gonna get in the way. I wish it had better adjustability and where it slots into the chair. I think it's rusted already, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Sometimes I do take it off while gaming because it doesn't sit high enough. So sometimes it's sort of just like a neck rest, if you guys can see. It's like right on my neck. It doesn't really go that high. That's why I wish it had a little bit more adjustability, but it is still comfortable. It just sometimes gets in the way. Like sometimes I feel like it's bumping into my shoulders when I'm gaming. So that's why I take it off. Other than that, the chair was top tier. It is super comfortable and I have not ran into a time where my butt hurts after sitting on it for a long period of time. It definitely has a cushion for my tush. I love the reclining aspect, especially when you just want to chill at your setup. It definitely makes the comfortability top notch. Overall, this chair is super solid and it will be linked down below if you want to check it out. Smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.